she put these chicken wings in front of me and I looked at those wings and I looked at her and I looked at my arms and then I looked at her and I just said, I can't eat it. I became plant-based and um, stopped eating meat about 18 years ago when I uh, turned uh, 22, 21, around that time when I entered the federal prison system uh, due to my former lifestyle. And it was there that I made a connection to a childhood memory when I was eight years old. My mother would uh, feed us what she could, uh, which was chicken wings. Chicken wings was really all my mother could afford at that time, working two to three jobs on a, a nurse salary. And she put these chicken wings in front of me, and I looked at those wings, and I looked at her, and I looked at my arms, and then I looked at her, and I just said, I can't eat it. She wasn't tolerating it. She just said, well, why? And I said, because they look like little bee arms, and uh, they look like my arms. The food itself is what really uh, kind of, as a kid, really discouraged me, you know, from wanting to eat that. I seen these bones, these tendons, and I was always a picky eater up until that point. Um, I never liked digging into chicken wings. I never liked digging into any type of meat-based product that had any type of bone structure attached to it. Uh, it just wasn't me. I, I knew it was associated with animal, uh, some type of animals. But that memory, uh, like a light bulb, registered in my head when I was in that, that jail cell trying to figure out why I'm here, uh, why did the universe put me in this situation. Here I was getting ready to face uh, some time. And everything pointed to that memory. I'm a strong believer in karma, meaning that no matter what you do in life, if you are presented with something and you don't see through it uh, and you ignore it, it'll come back to hunt you in some type of way. So right then and there, I denounced everything and I created this mantra for myself that if it requires harm, then all. And that included not going back into my community to sell drugs and I also included not contributing to a multi-billion dollar industry that was destroying over 50 billion plus animals per year. Uh, and that was 18 years ago. And I went from weighing about two, I was close to 260 pounds when I entered the system. And within, not even, within four, four weeks, uh, between four to eight weeks, I got all the way down to like a solid 200. At the lowest, I got down to 190. And I became one of the strongest men in, in my, you know, on my, uh, my prison facility. We had about 1,500. 1,200 to 1,500 inmates, and we would have what's called liftoffs, and I was in the top 10. Again, I didn't go plant-based for health. I just didn't want to have anything to do with any type of destruction of any type of life form. I did it for not only myself, but the animals. People would look at me like, they go that crazy, and they go that weirdo that doesn't eat meat, because I would trade my meat protein uh, with the carbs with my cellies and my cellmates. They would, line up, they give me all their pasta, their potatoes. I ate a lot of complex and simple carbs. I strongly feel like me going down this pathway and not uh, contributing to this industry truly uh, had karma help me out, kind of turn my life around. I went from 180 all the way around where I was getting opportunities after opportunities. The food and the diet truly turn on the good genes. There's a lot of science to back that up. Uh, it turns on your good genes and what you eat can also turn on your bad genes. So if you're eating a pretty uh, a bad diet full of a lot of uh, high fructose and processed foods and meat-based uh, diet full of a lot of carcinogens and more, uh, you're gonna turn on some bad genes and you also wanna promote the growth of cancer cells. Uh, that lay dormant in your body already because we all have some type of form of cancer cell laying dormant. That's just evolution from us polluting the air and, and creating all these different technologies. But what you feed yourself is what actually can trigger that and promote those cells to grow or to keep them dormant and also to turn on good genes. I'm Dominic Thompson. I'm the founder and creator 
of a health and sustainable clothing company known worldwide as Crazies and Weirdos. I'm also the founder of a food and nutrition company called Eat What Elephants Eat, where we teach people how to eat plant-based.